Hello everybody, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new video, which is part of a new series that I'm creating called 10 Minute Cards. I know many of you, like me, all have busy lives and we don't always have time to dedicate hours to our crafting hobby. Well, I want to show you that even if all you have is 10 minutes, you can still make a gorgeous card that you can be proud of and then send to somebody to spread some handmade joy. The purpose of this card series is not to force you to try to be as fast as possible in creating or making it stressful because crafting is supposed to be fun and I want that to be the main focus here. The purpose of me putting in 10 minutes is to show you that card making does not have to take hours. So I am going to show you that this card did literally only take me 10 minutes. I made both the card and the envelope inside of 10 minutes, but again, I wasn't rushing. I was taking my time and just enjoying the creative process for a short bit of time before I actually had to go start dinner. So I want you to be able to enjoy today's video, get some inspiration, and also show you that you can take just 10 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever time you have, you can use that time to be able to make something you love. So why don't we jump on in and create the card? All right, so I'm gonna show you first the products that I've set aside to use in today's project. This is the card that we're gonna be creating. It's simple, but yet stunning. I love how the blue shades mix together to create this really vibrant color. And we're gonna fade it out across the card. This is gonna be two-tone stenciling with a bit of a fade out. The stencil that I'm using today is the Floating Leaves from Simon Says Stamp. This is actually an older stencil, but one of my favorites. So I'm going to be using this along with some white cardstock and a couple of colors of Distress Oxiding. So I got Salty Ocean and Blueprint Sketch here. You also need a blending brush and some little daubers to do the two-tone stenciling. I have this swoopy thank you die, but you could swap it out for any greeting you want. And I have some embellishments that match the blue colors that I'm using today. So these are the main supplies in today's project. So I'm gonna start first by pushing the timer on my phone. It actually had 10 minutes and 10 seconds, but it still was inside of 10 minutes in creating this card project. I'm going to go ahead and apply the stencil on top of my paper and hold it down onto my crafters platform with the magnets. And I'm going to start blending the salty ocean color through the stencil onto my paper. Now you'll notice I'm getting very light as I get towards the top of the paper. And that's because we're fading this design as we go up the card. I will end up turning this into a landscape card. So this will actually be rotated 90 degrees, but you can see where we're going here. Now, I wouldn't recommend removing the stencil, but I wanted to show you what we have so far. Next, we're going to reapply some ink over top of this stencil, but this time we're gonna use a different color and we're going to use a dauber so we can be a little bit more controlled. We're gonna add some shading to these leaves and that's why I suggest not removing the stencil. I just wanted to show you where we were at before I start the second layer of stenciling. So I'm using one of these finger brush blending tools from Simon Says Stamp. They're one of my favorites. And I'm going to use that to carefully apply the ink. And remember, we're fading out as we go across this card. So we started off really dark and then we're gonna fade out and we get this really pretty two-tone effect on these leaves. It almost looks like we shaded them, but it was very simple and easy to do. I'm going to splatter this with some shim shimmer mist from Brutus Monroe. You don't have to do this, but I love adding splatter details. And when this catches the light, it's spectacular. I really like this Bruce Monroe Shimmer Mist. It's got a pearlescent finish. So I'm gonna set this aside to dry. It won't take long. This is on cardstock. And little splatters like this really take no time at all to dry. Next, we're gonna move on to die cutting. While that's drying, I'm gonna pull out some beautiful Blue Jay cardstock from Lawn Fawn. And we're going to go ahead and die cut this with the swoopy thank you. I'm going to die cut this three times from this cardstock, but you don't have to. You could just die cut it once. I like a slight bit of dimension for my sentiment off of the shadow layer, so that's why I chose to die cut this three times and then I'll stack them up. I'm using my mini blossom die cut machine to cut these little word sentiments out. I really love this font. It's very pretty and elegant and it's gonna go really nicely with those floating leaves. I did cut the shadow layer as well from white cardstock, and this is what I'm gonna glue the thank you sentiment onto. The shadow layer does come with the swoopy thank you die set. To adhere my sentiments together, I'm going to use some spray adhesive. 
Spray adhesive is a really simple and quick way to be able to adhere delicate die cuts like this and it's going to save me a little bit of time. If I wasn't doing this on camera, I actually would have taken this outside and sprayed this outside so that I didn't have the aerosol in the room, but I did open up the windows to keep the room well ventilated. But again, if I was doing this off camera, I definitely would have taken this outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and stack these sentiments together, both the thank and the you. And then once the, both of these are adhered together, I'll be able to glue these onto the shadow layer. I just have an old Simon Says Stamp card kit box that I use as my spray box. And it's a really great way to be able to catch all of that adhesive as we're spraying. Speaking of Simon Says Stamp, I did use the Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue to add little dots of adhesive onto the backside of my greetings. You'll also notice in the top left corner of my screen, my timer is still going down. We're at four minutes and you're gonna see here, we're almost done. And I still have a little bit of time left. I have not touched that timer. The timer's been running the whole entire time and I'm ready to adhere my greening and card panel onto a card base. Another time-saving trick is to have pre-made card bases. I like to buy the Simon Says Stamp white card bases. This is the A2 size and I'm going to use that as the base for my card. So I just adhered my stenciled pattern on top and then I'm gonna pop up my sentiment along the right hand side of my card. So it's kind of hanging past that fade out area and that really completes the whole pattern. As your eye goes from left to right, it really feels cohesive. So we're almost done, but I did wanna add a few embellishments. So I have some glossy accents and some sequins that are sea glass from Simon Says Stamp. I'm going to glue these onto my card in a few areas. And I did use an odd number of five sequins just because I like odd numbers and I think it really helps balance out the card. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere just a few of these down. This is the card. It is so simple and easy to make. And I love how it turned out. If you can believe it, it took less than 10 minutes. I'm gonna show you that timer right now. We're at one minute and 50 seconds. So that means I still have a little bit of time before I go ahead and actually go make dinner. So I thought, well, since I have a little bit of time left, I think I'll go ahead and make a coordinating envelope. So I did pause the timer just for a brief minute here so I could gather up some supplies. And I starting up the timer again to show you that once again, this doesn't take much time to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend just like I did for the card itself. I'm gonna blend that fade out, beautiful stenciled pattern here along the side of my envelope and then bring in that finger dauber and go ahead and add that beautiful two-toned effect over top of the leaves. I really love how this turns out. It gives them some really gorgeous shading and it's just spectacular. I did actually finish off that envelope off camera with a little bit of splatter detail. It was a last minute thought. I was like, oh, you know what? Let me match up the envelope with the card by adding that splatter. But as you can see, we made this card inside of 10 minutes and we even have a coordinating envelope. So my point in showing you this card project and I'm going to be showing you more in the future is that card making does not have to take hours. I'll still be sharing my more involved card projects because I love those too, but I think having some ideas for some quicker cards is really helpful and I hope it's been inspiring for you. If you've enjoyed today's video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. If you are already a sub subscriber, I thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it and I am so glad you're here. Thanks again for stopping by and I will be back very soon with more to share with you. Until next time, have a fabulous day. Bye.